Joined this morning by the Assistant Head of School for Academic Resources, Stefan Eady. Welcome, Stefan, to Thank Tiger you. Talks. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. And uh, so, Stefan, just real quickly, give us a little bit about your background. How long have you been at Darlington? What, is, uh, what does academic resources mean? Uh, I'm still figuring that last one out. Okay. Um, it's a new position. I've been doing that for three years. I've been here for 22. Okay. Um, but academic resources is sort of an umbrella arm of the school, um, there to support teachers, students uh, in particular. Um, also looks at other programs. So uh, we've got technology, we have library, we have learning center, um, we help out with professional development, um, all those areas of the school that they're there to kind of support the teachers, the classroom work. Um, also doing some work on curriculum, which I That's think right. is why you have me here today. Absolutely, absolutely. Stefan and his team do a great job for the school. One of the projects that uh, we're most excited about um, and want to share with you today uh, is curriculum mapping. And um, maybe you can share with us a little bit about uh, the process of curriculum mapping. What is curriculum mapping? I think that's something we hear in the educational uh, jargon, but what, what does it mean for Darlington? So we've been working on curriculum mapping for a long time. So any teachers that might be watching might be tired of hearing that word actually, but right. a lot of our parents and students, this is gonna be new to them. Uh, but we've been working on this for almost five or six years, really longer than that, but mm -hmm. in this current situation, five or six years. Um, and it's really about looking at uh, what uh, the school is trying to accomplish uh, in teaching the students um, in, the, in each individual classroom. So it's kind of a, a guide, they call it a map, and that's a good word for it. Um, it's a guide, it's a guide for our teachers to use uh, when they're planning classes and making sure that, that, that the class that, that, they're, that they're putting on that year um, you know, has uh, goals that they understand and that they can make sure that they're gonna reach. Um, and, um, and, and also, so different classes as students progress through the, through the school, uh, that they all tie together in a meaningful way. That there's, that there's a real big you know, strategy for getting that done. Um, and now we're excited um, that, that, that the work that's been put into place by our teachers and, and, the, and, and making the map and now really using the map, we're excited that we're getting to uh, share that with students and parents. Because for them, it's gonna be a way to kind of see you know, where the day-to-day -day work actually fits into the bigger picture. Right. Awesome, awesome. And I think that's been one of our goals all along in this pro project um, is to be able to to have something that's shareable that uh, our students can see, our parents can see, and like you said, that idea of of a map, right? It's it's a where are we going um, and how are we going to get there? So uh, before we do a little demonstration, uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, this idea of essential questions. Yeah. And how that fits into the mapping process. Absolutely. And so, you know, curriculum mapping is actually something that, that every school has to define for itself. Yeah. So uh, curriculum mapping is a, is a common term among schools, but if you were to take go from one school to another, their definition may be very different. So that was one of the first tasks we had to do is to figure out what is this going to mean for Darlington? It was a group of teachers who really took that task on uh, probably five years ago, like I was saying, mm -hmm. uh, to define that. And for us, we needed to make sure we struck a balance between being uh, an independent school where the, the teacher uh, was very important and the students were very important and that particular classroom could do the job it needed to do for that, that set of students they had that particular year. Um, so we wanted the, that part to be independent. Uh, we all, but we did want a map that the school sort of owned, you know, that we could guarantee to our parents and students that, you know, you were going to get this out of this class. Um, so uh, we focused on three parts, um, and you mentioned essential questions, mm -hmm. and that was one of them. Uh, so essential questions is just about thinking really big. You know, so if you're in math class, you're you're po possibly you know really interested in the details of operations and formulas and those kind of things. But essential questions would be, how does this apply to the big picture, the real world? You know, what are you going to do with this? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the impact? Um, and how can we engage some higher level of thinking rather than just working out math problems? Right. And just using math as, as sure. an example. Um, so essential questions became really important for us and, and just making sure we're, we're, we have some critical thinking going on. We're, we're making sure our students are, are you know, thinking about that big picture. I, I think it's also uh, very important in connecting to the portrait of a graduate, mm -hmm. um, which is an overarching goal for the school uh, when it's thinking about the student that it wants to produce at the end of a, right. of a 12 or 14 year period. Mm -hmm. 
All right. You want to show us a little bit about what you can see when you go on the website? Yeah, as absolutely. A, as a student or a parent and, and kind of connect some of the dots for us? Yeah, so for our this students and parents. exciting for, for me to see as well. Yeah, so, you know, this is something our teachers have been seeing uh, and working through and developing um, for years, literally. Um, but we have just released this to the students and parents to see as well. And so, um, you know, this is, we're looking at the assignments page right here. Um, and um, this very is a, familiar for a students. Very familiar the place. page is a, a hot spot on the website, yes. is it not? Yeah, this is the go to page. You know, what do I have to do for homework tonight? Right. Is a lot of times a driving question. Um, and, you know, and, that, and that's a great way to think about this. You know, so, so students are on the ground, teachers are on the ground every day thinking about, you know, what do I have to do for homework? So I have a sample student pulled up here. Um, you know, their classes are listed again. Uh, nothing has changed uh, as far as what this, what this looks like. Um, in, in general, um, you can see, um, you know, I've actually got a student in my class I'm looking at right now. You know, they've got to do some questions in class that night. They're talking about, um, you know, answering some, some bigger uh, questions, almost essential questions here. And what so, is it that you teach? Compu AP Computer Science. AP Computer Science, okay, yeah. so that's the course. Yeah. So the day to day, you're drilling through this. We've been doing this for years. Um, but now you can uh, look um, you know, up here at the top on any class, and you can see the uh, unit that the, that the teacher has uh, associated that with. Um, and uh, you can start to see a little bit of a bigger picture. Uh, so we're, we've got these details here, but you know this fits into a plan, right? And this part of the plan that we're working on is primitive data types. Okay. Right? And here's an environmental sciences, introduction to environmental mm -hmm. science. We have AP English working on short fiction. Um, and that's really great. But nice, uh, the really nice thing about this is you can drill down into any one of these. So um, if you click that unit, you can you can see the entire map for the school year, which is, a, a, again, a really great perspective. Um, so for this unit, you know, we're going to work on this uh, for a few weeks. Uh, you can see those essential questions that you were mm -hmm. just talking about, and you can see the two other uh, areas that, that we focus on, which is, and the most important thing really for us is about the skills. So it's essential questions and skills, um, you know, at Darnton we focus on a skills-based curriculum. Mm -hmm. Um, so we focus again on, on skills. So you know you can know these are the, the skills that the, the student in this class is going to be learning in this unit. What they're going to be focused on, um, and you can see like what are those twelve questions we're practicing on that night? Where is it going to get us? Uh -huh. Right, and great. And so again, that's the that's the map. Where are we going? Um, and even beyond that, you can see the whole year's tag down here to the side. You can see where we're going from the very beginning, you know, to the very end. So at any point. You can just come over here and click, and you can start to see what are we going to be doing, you know, in March mm -hmm. or February or April, right. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and if you really just, you know, click through here, and, and uh, depending on how much time you want to spend with it, you can get a, a real good idea about what this class is really going to teach you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we we talk about uh, here quickly tying a couple of these pieces together. We think about AP Computer Science. Uh, and the portrait of a graduate. Any particular aspects uh, of the portrait that you feel like a student in AP Computer Science really gets a, a little bit of a of a, a deep dive into, or maybe even trial by fire in, in some ways? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And if you were to talk to any of my students, especially right now, you know, and a lot of the classes that the students take here, they may have some prior knowledge. Mine happens to be a pretty good example of a class where you, it's tough, like what's a prior knowledge? For right. some people, it's the first time they've ever programmed. You know, so you think about, um, you know, elements of the uh, portrait of a graduate, like transfers knowledge and applies skills from the familiar to the unfamiliar, mm -hmm. right? So our students are, my students are in very unfamiliar places right, right now. Um, but we're still tying some things in. Right? We're mm -hmm. still talking about math. Sometimes we're talking about third grade math, like what's the remainder of a number when you divide? You know, mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing new ways to apply that in, a, in sort of programmatic ways. Um, so that's a that's a great example. And what's nice is you can see that portrait of a graduate next to the map, and and our teachers look at that as they're working through the map. So there's always that that final big picture right. that we're thinking about yeah. all the time. Even if we're teaching factoring, we're thinking about what's that ultimate goal for a graduate. And I think that's a skills-based curriculum is exactly to me what college a college preparatory environment's all about. It's the idea that 
uh, you are prepared because you have a set of skills for things that are unfamiliar, right? And not just, uh, oh, we read that book in 11th grade and we're going to read it again in freshman English, so I'm feeling great about being prepared for college. It's in fact, you know, connecting with uh, what you have learned and the skills that you have with, uh, with new information, new opportunities that are coming your way. So right. that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So. I think everybody can see uh, pretty clearly uh, Stefan Eady, one of the great assets uh, of Darlington School. Uh, he did not, in fact, uh, begin working here as a 10-year-old, even though I know he looks so young, it's hard to imagine him being here for 22 years, but uh, have accomplished a great deal in your time here. Very impressive. If you've seen the, the website, uh, all of these things designed in-house, custom. Uh, if you will, to Darlington School for the benefit of our teachers and students. Um, and now this really uh, giving us some, um, just a place uh, to show that direction and, and connect with it. So.